Hello everyone, my name is Austin Howard and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. Last time we went through the cave system and got here to Planet Novalis. Well, not in that order. We got to Planet Novalis and then we went through the cave system. This time we have two choices. We can go in through another cave system or we can go that way. This way is required, so you know the rule of video games. Always go the not required pathway first. This is the rule. Also, there's more gold bolts. And when I say more gold bolts, I think I just mean one. Um, it might take me a little while to get back into the groove of Ratchet and Clank. Because the jumping is a, a lot different than Sly Cooper. And also, it's going to take me a little while to get used to not having a certain upgrade that is in the later games that makes breaking boxes so much easier. Anyway, you can wall jump here. If you just jump against a wall and press the X button, you can jump off the wall. And here we have another gold bolt. Now, cool thing about this game is that if you click here, I think... No, no, it's not here. But, um... When you're on the planet select screen, like when you when we eventually get our ship, there's going to be a screen that lets us select our planets. When you're on there, you can see exactly how many gold bolts um, each planet has. If I'm remembering right, this one has three. We found two of them, but we can't get the third one until much later in the game. So, that's a thing. Anyway, this is less of a cave and more of a sewer system. So, what are you? I don't know, Derek. I believe that's a question only you can answer. What are you doing? I'm recording a game. I know. Wait, wait, there's money. Money, 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 money. Money. Money, money, and money. Uh, Ratchet's walking speed is so slow. It's not a problem. It's not, probably, it's not gonna be a problem later down the road because there's things to make us move faster. And also later down the road there's gonna be lots of enemies so you need to take it slow to blow them all to smithereens. Anyway, this is just real basic platforming. I think through here we're going to meet another character. Yeah, there he is. Dad, blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking! The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Alright, 500 bolts. Might sound like a lot now. It's not. It's really not. Anyway, just grab all this. Like, there's there's bolts everywhere, dude. Geronimo! Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Mayday, mayday! This is the solar ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long! Kid, let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks! Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Alright, so now we've got coordinates to Planet Iridia, but we still don't have a ship. 
That's where we're going to need. So we're going to need to go there. Sooner or later. And we just jump in here. Like like the, uh, the plumber. And also, the plumber is in every Ratchet and Clank game. He's a recurring character. Alright, so now... We have enough bolts to buy our next weapon, which is I got the Pyrocitor. And unfortunately, the Pyrocitor does not come with a full thing of ammo. It only comes with half. Which puts me at... Which puts me at exactly... Pretty much no bolts. But the Pyrocitor... It's not useful against... It's not very useful against larger enemies, but... Small fries... small fries like those things that are floating in the air they hate this thing it's really good for taking them out and unlike the later Ratchet and Clank games your weapons don't upgrade with use so that pretty much just means that you can use whatever weapon is convenient for the situation without having to worry about getting the experience boost or whatever which is good because that's one of the things I don't like about the later it's one of the things I like and don't like about later Ratchet and Clank games your weapons get stronger so weak weapons can become powerful if you just use them but I don't like it because the weapons that don't work very well in their normal state are hard to level up like certain weapons come to mind, but I'm going on about the sequels again, and I don't want to go on about the sequels. Anyway, blow him up, grab all this, blow these guys up, so many explosives, so many explosives. Anyway, you might see me running around and jumping like a maniac. I can't strafe, so that's pretty much the only way to guarantee you dodge stuff, is to jump like a fool. Oh my gosh. Okay. Boom. <laughs> oh my. I'll be... Or, you know, the bridge could get blown up. But I will be right back. All right, that was annoying, and now, <sighs> Derek. <laughs> anyway, blow you up. <laughs> I'm, I just imagine that this entire commentary is just gonna be I'm gonna blow you up, and 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 you, and you, and you, and you. <laughs> Stop. Derek. Money, 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 money. Come over here. And... Do, 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 do. Just ignore the Derek in the background. He's not part of this commentary. In fact, he doesn't even exist. <laughs> That's funny. Get off me, Derek. Anyway, blow these three guys up. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh. What are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I I'll tell you anything. Here, take
Take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than stirring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee-high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic! Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, and I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Anyway. Yes, well, I am. No, you're not. Anyway, by my estimate, we should be at about 11 minutes. Of course, I had to stop in the middle of a recording. You can't see it, but I'm giving my brother the evil eye. Anyway, we've done everything we can do on Novalis for right now. Which means we have a choice. We can either go to Planet Iridia, or we can go to Metropolis. I vote we go to Metropolis because the upgrades we get there make Planet Iridia a lot easier and also doable. <laughs> and by my estimate, like I said, we should be at about 12-ish uh, minutes. Which isn't very long for an episode, but I have to cut things short because someone... <laughs> has a friend coming over and I have to help clean the room. So anyway, next time we'll be entering this, our brand new old ship. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Please remember to like and subscribe. And I hope, I sincerely hope that you can't hear what Derek's saying that he's because he's too far away. And that's all. Goodbye. Me.